What's up, Gemini's? This is Evolving Wisdom. Yes, I'm here and I'm still evolving. All right, Gemini's, what is good with you guys? I am so happy to be back on here. Okay, thank you all for the love, the support, all the donations you guys have been giving, especially this month. It's been like, I don't know if it's because it's my birthday month, but you guys have been showing your girls some love and I appreciate it. I appreciate all the likes, the shares, there's the comments. Anything you guys have been doing to show some love, I appreciate it, okay? You guys, please like, share, and subscribe if I didn't say that before. And if you guys need any personal readings or any information on the spiritual work I do, spiritual products that I have, please check me out at EvolvingWisdom5.com, okay? Check me out on my Instagram, which is also EvolvingWisdom5, okay? All right, y'all. Let's jump into your energy because this energy has been crazy, y'all. I'm telling you, this retrograde, and I usually don't feel the retrograde energy, but I've been feeling it. I've been not feeling it, but it's more of I've been having to deal with the electronics and things and YouTube been acting crazy with the uploads, like the unlisted um, private, so whatever you want to call it, videos. Okay, I just, it's been flagging them or making it seem like it's just like a draft or something. It's not allowing me to share the links. So, but, you know, nevertheless, I digress. I digress, okay? <laughs> so let's get into you guys energy and see what's going on with my Gemini's okay what is going on with my Gemini's okay I don't know if some of you guys are feeling lost here incomplete lost not knowing what to do okay you guys got a big increase in finances um, Gemini's I want to say Leo's or Libra some of you guys may be dealing with the Leo or Libra. I'm drifting more to the, to the Leo here. Okay, let's see. What's going on with my Geminis? What is going on with my Geminis? Geminis. Some of you guys got a, a mom energy involved with when it comes to her son or a fem female who has like a mother or another female she's dealing with to, that's really dark here. Okay, some of you guys may be going through some legal issues or some fighting here with the, even if, if it's not legal issues, it's fighting or bickering back and forth with a, a masculine and a motherly energy. Um, that's coming in here. A lot of disappointments, unreliable. You can't trust this person as much as you can throw them. I feel like this is the mother, or I feel some of you guys may be dealing with a motherly energy here, a woman. Someone you thought you can trust at one point in time. Someone you thought that had your back, okay? Or was kind to you in the beginning, but she was only manipulating you um, to keep a hold on you is, I feel like for her son or for her daughter, however that resonates, remember it's all energy, you guys, learn how to decipher when it comes to, uh, readers on here, if I'm saying ma masculine, or if I'm saying feminine, if you know you don't deal with that, then, you know, resonate how it resonates, you guys, but it's something to do with her lover or, or, I feel family, something, something's going on with some family shit here. There was a love affair attraction here that you never should have indulged in or you should not be in, you should not be getting involved in here, Gemini's. I hear Leo, Libra, Leo. I hear Leo, something that starts with the L, L here. Interference here with this relationship. These two people are interfering with your relationship here. Some type of family or friendship energy is coming in here, okay? There's some type of re, um, interference from these people. And it has to do with your relationship here. There's a masculine energy around you guys here that you cannot trust, okay? this I don't know if this is feeling like this is too much into the relationship. There's just somebody who may be betraying that they are friends with you or that they... Um, 
some of you guys may be leaning on this person to to talk to and to you know get out what you need to you know your emotions and things you can't trust this person either they're unreliable untrustworthy here it may be a friend or a, a potential this person likes you more than what you think if it's a relationship okay but some of this some of this some of you guys may be just maybe just a friend there's a lot of darkness around you guys a lot of um, manipulation a lot of uh, false people around you guys here okay you guys have somebody maybe you're going into business with or thinking about going into business with or you do business with that you need to be watchful of. This person is all about their money. This person is a magician when it comes to their money. That's what they care about. That's that's part of their total being here on this in, in this journey at this moment. That's like what they're here to do is to be all about money and to be conniving and be selfish, okay? Everybody's not good and kind and need to evolve from that. Some people are on this earth to be wicked, what we call wicked, okay? We all play our part in, in, in life here, okay? So we can learn. If there was no wicked people on earth, then we would not learn um, about what is darkness and what is light, okay? There is some business. So some of you guys may be going into business or someone's supposed to be helping you out with business here. And they're really all about wanting to manipulate you and steal your money, whoever that is for here, okay? They're trying to benefit off of your gifts or your, you, you know more than them. You know a lot more than them and they know that, but they're trying to portray like, you know, like they're helping you out or they got something that you may need from them. So, you know, they can feel empowerment. But in reality, you are you are the, the trophy. You are the mind, the, the brains of it all here. Some of you guys are needing to move and trying to move here, okay? There's money coming to you to help you with this fight, this move. Your ancestors are out here very strong, Gemini's. And I said that this month, in, in end of April... And to May here, Taurus, hey, y'all know I'm all about the birthday, okay? Yes, okay? So, say like, happy birthday to me. Say happy birthday in the comment section, okay? Okay? <laughs> but, you guys, your ancestors are very strong, okay? Very strong, coming out as a masculine and a feminine energy. Um, it's just like the ancestors are really walking amongst us um, at the moment, even if you recognize it or not here. Some of you guys are getting into a relationship with a man or a female who has somebody else, like a married, they, they're married. They're literally married to this person, okay? Blocking you here. There's endings coming here. Some of you guys are going to be getting into a relationship or you are in a relationship with someone that's going to end. There's endings coming from this depression. This Some of you guys are burdened by this. Some of you guys are really, uh, like, like I said in the beginning, I feel a lot of lost energy, worried not feeling um, very uplifted or feeling like, you know, you have power. Okay. I think we have Venus in, in, in retrograding into in Gemini. Gemini is, okay. I don't, I'm not, I, I haven't been up on it, y'all. I've been too busy but on what's going on with the planet, um, planets at the moment here. But there's, um, there's a be careful in partnership here. Some of you guys may be getting into some type of partnership here. You guys, be careful with the partnerships in business or someone trying to help you out. So I feel like somebody, somebody's trying to make it seem like they are the brains of it all, okay? Or they, they like you need them because you really don't need them, okay? You really don't need them, and but they know you are very smart and very intelligent here. And so they, they're really using you here. Something is coming towards you. What's coming towards you is business success here. But there's a um, there's a soul tie that's also coming here. That's going to cause some burdens. It's going to distract you from your new beginning. It's a new relationship here. But there's a woman tied to your relationship. Um, Gemini's. It's some fire sign that you guys are dealing with. It's a fire energy. If this person's son is not a fire, there's a lot of fire in this person chart here. There's a woman tied to your relationship here, even your new relationship here. Some of you guys are really dealing with a very fox, snake, masculine or feminine energy. It's no good here. This person is really bitchy too. Like this person likes... They have a very, they're more in the feminine energy than um, 
more into the masculine and i mean that on a 3d level okay don't get that confused with women because i don't know people get this so confused make it seem like women are so fucking emotional there's women out here who are very very dominant okay that is the natural natural energy of a woman anyways we 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 were rulers okay we we birthed our fucking children we have to be strong at the end of the day and we do possess a very no nonsense type of energy that it is that is not feminine or masculine we do possess a warrior like energy but we also know how to be beautiful we also know how to be motherly in energy so i don't know I, I say that so i can connect with my audience when i'm saying feminine and masculine i say that a lot but sometimes people get that confused like a woman can't be hardcore as far as like no nonsense type bullshit okay we are always not just pretty and you know uh, you know what I mean? We we, as you can see, we're very can be very cut to the chase too. No nonsense, bullshit. Okay, but this person is a little bit more on the softer side, uh, and maybe dip into bisexual, like you know, like the opposite sex and likes the same sex. That's how kind of bitchy, and I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. But this person hides that. And I don't agree with people hiding who they are. And to me, you a bitch if you're hiding it and leading people on. Okay? Because that's what I pick up from this energy. Okay? Unreliable. You can't trust this person. Is, is this person, you guys need to believe this. I don't like this person's energy. Whoever this male or feminine energy is, I don't like their energy. Very sexual, deviant um, energy. And they're not outward. They're not out with, with it. Okay? I feel like a cross dresser also. Go ahead, do you, boo. But don't hide it. Okay? It's so easier said than done. I know people who deal with that energy, um, you know, like the same sex and everything. You guys go through a fucking lot. And sometimes people want to put their own judgment on you and tell you how, how they see you through their eyes. It's like, fucking mind your own business and let people live their life. But I encourage you guys, just come, just be who you are, man. Some of you guys suffer so much in silence when it comes to that. And I do, I, I have a lot of clients, uh, especially males. My females, y'all don't be caring. Y'all be like, y'all, I sure do. <laughs> if even the males is more judgment on you guys, and I hate that you guys have to go through that. And I encourage you all to just be who the fuck you want to be. Forget what everybody else is thinking. So they got shit skeletons in the closet or maybe they want to do that, okay? Sometimes people hate the shit that they can't accomplish or they can't do, okay? So, but nevertheless here, yeah, y'all got some sneaky shit going on with some family ties. Um, even if this is some past lover, it's still like they got a family shit going on with some women and a masculine energy here trying to make sure whatever relationship I feel like is coming towards your way, you don't be successful in it. And sometimes people bring some relationships, some people bring relationships or um, you can conjure up certain people to come in your life to take you off your path through alchemy by thinking it and wanting certain energy or hanging on to old energy and you end up manifesting that same energy but just a different face okay oh girl your girl was poshed okay mm. all right let me get my uh, groove back on here yeah you guys a lot of disappointments coming from that you guys money looking good though I mean, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Okay. Y'all got two two people who are interested in you guys. We'll get deeper into these people mind, but there's somebody. It's like somebody is following you spiritually. Like these people follow you wherever you go, wherever you think, whatever you're trying to do. They follow you. Stalking you. Jealousy. New lover is coming, unreliable, untrustworthy, very conniving, deviant. Some of you guys, some of you Geminis are the person that's coming in, matches your energy, okay? They like what you like. They, you mirror them, okay? You mirror them. So you, if you like, you know, you like the same sex or you like both, okay? They are going to like the same. They're going to do the same. They might not be open, maybe more open than you are with it, but they do. Because I'm picking up that, that they get down in that fashion here. Okay? 
Let's see. Let's keep going with you guys. What do my Geminis need to know? Need to know from May. What does my Geminis need to know? Unreliable. Yeah, this person got somebody. They got someone else here. They got another. They got. They got two women that they deal with, the two men that they deal with here. Um, you can't trust them. They're going to bring some burdens. And some, some of you guys are going through this now. A lot of jealousy is around you from these women, okay? Because maybe you, they feel like they they care for you more or they like you more. And who gives a damn? They both, y'all all getting played, okay? But these women are extremely jealous of you. There's a deeper soul connection you have with this person, okay? There's a lot of there's a lot of depressed energy, though, around you. Why are you guys staying in this relationship? If this is going on with you, some of you guys may have already, trans, already transpired in your guys life but you guys need to be careful here because there is a man uh someone from the past or someone excuse me someone from the past who was really upset that they see they can feel you doing things or trying to move on okay they're stalking you when you departed from them okay and they're with if they're with somebody else and i feel like some of the, this is like so there's a mommy energy and but there it may not be their mother it just may be a woman who cares for them like a motherly energy who's always you know uh brushing their hair if they got hair oh do you need food so i can wash your drawers you know very mommy mommy overly protective type of energy and this woman is also involved with doing work or she's obsessed they're, they're both obsessed with you there's a female and a man i feel like they follow you everywhere you go in a way like, that's all they have to do here. And it's the younger one. It's the same energies. They seem like they're more stronger on you here, Geminis. Mm. You guys, are, some of you guys are looking for a job or employment. There's a lot of business success coming in towards you for that, Okay. But there is a very high priestess male and a female energy. Two, there's two of them. Okay, new relationship is coming very soon. It's a soul tie. We'll get more into that. They're going to interfere. It's a very... It's two. You guys got two people who are approaching you here. Okay? Let's get into some other energy here. I feel like somebody wants revenge on you. Someone wants revenge. Okay, let's see. Someone wants revenge on you. What's going on? Let me get it. What's going on with my Gemini's? You guys protect yourself. You got a very... Some of you guys got some a snake among you or somebody who smiles in your face, but then... Uh, tra traps you or tricks you just to find out what's going on around you here okay this is the female you guys know in the southern um tradition or just in this period and who do okay usually women not all but women will put uh, menstrual blood or blood into their spouse's uh food so the man or female whatever can become obsessed with them or they'll just be bound to them okay and to each his own you know what i'm saying you want somebody to be bound to you go ahead do you okay but it is uh a very traditional type of thing that that uh, women do especially and i just remember growing up that a lot of this was coming from the south okay because where i'm from a lot of people migrated from the south to the area that i grew up in Okay, so I knew a lot of the southern ways, a lot of those ways, uh, ways. but you can see this woman is smiling. Oh, she looks so sweet. But if you look in the pot here, there's a chicken feather or there's a feather. There's some some um, some tricks up in that pot she has and her knives back. So it's someone who's very trickster, someone who smiles in your face but doesn't have your back here. She is very, or he is very envious, gossiping, putting rumors out about you, very jealous very envious this you you take the soul from her she hates you that much or she he hates you that much that he will fucking give his soul to have you buried dead okay that is the how the energy i feel someone like i said before these cards came out protect yourself some of you guys there is just a, a stream envious energy around you a lot of gossiping it's like people get around and have a party and talk about you okay 
Yeah, but someone's trying to come in and offer you guys something back here, and you guys are not paying attention to it, or you should not be paying attention to it here, um, Gemini's, okay? Some of you guys are planting your seeds, growing your business, growing, and not giving away your money to, or not giving attention to people who does not deserve your attention, or your finances. So maybe some of you guys maybe was giving away your financial blessings to motherfuckers who didn't who was only coming around trying to snoop out your money. Okay, y'all be careful with that. Quit giving away y'all money to these bums. And I don't know who this is for. It may not be for all of y'all, but I'm talking to some one of you guys. Okay, so giving y'all money away to these bum ass motherfuckers. Okay? Just how you get your money, they can get there too. Don't lower your standards for that. Shouldn't nobody be coming around trying to take what's yours. Now I see you guys, I really need to, you ignoring the pig. You see that pig, that's a swine. You know what I'm saying? Don't feed your abundance to swines here. Justice is yours. Justice is coming for a lot of you in Gemini's. Justice is coming, but it's coming from you. It's coming from the energy that you're putting out and that you want to happen. Some of you guys have been sitting on this energy for a while and you're finally tired of it. And you're going to get justice here. You're, you're putting the energy out to get justice. And it's coming for you, Geminis. Okay? I have some, I, mean, I have a few Gemini clients here. You guys will get justice. Okay? Baskets, a lot of, there's great news coming. There's new energy coming for you guys after this justice is served here. Okay? New beginnings will stir up for you guys. Okay? This is the ancestors giving you guys praise and giving you guys a new blessing here for finally um standing up for yourself here okay but you guys need to listen okay who videos i just who a video i just got done doing sagittarius you know the opposite side of sagittarius is what gemini's okay very similar energy okay very similar energy i feel like Sag um gemini's is a little bit more hothead but you know Gem sagittarius is the same okay but you guys, very intellectual, but you, you, you y'all ain't listening. Y'all be getting signs, y'all intuition talking to y'all. People been coming up to y'all, telling y'all, not even just coming up. Just y'all, maybe y'all been seeking out, um, uh, um, people who are highly in tune, like, for, like me, okay? And, um, been telling y'all things, y'all ain't listening. You know, I get messages from y'all ancestors and stuff, and I'm just being honest. Some of you guys don't be listening. Some of y'all hear it. And y'all know it's right, but y'all just don't act on it. Okay? A lot of things is coming to a balance here, but you guys are being rebirthed here. Your ancestors is tired of the shit too. Some of you guys need to hear, heal your bloodline through walking away from a lot of this stuff. Okay? There's a lot of sickness in your guys' bloodline that needs to be healed through you. So they're telling you to listen. Be quiet. Quit thinking you know everything and listen. Okay, what's going on with my Gemini's? What's going on with my Gemini's? What's going on with my Gemini's? Mm. Okay, yeah, it is time to go. It's victory is coming for you guys. Okay, this is what he was. Um, ah, what is his name? A very, very famous um, cowboy. A very famous cowboy. One of the best. One of the best, and you know, you don't hear a lot about because that's crazy. Because I know in the south, that's where the cowboys came from. It came from the, a lot of the black men. It didn't start from one of those country singers and shit like that. No offense to anybody, but the truth is what the truth is. Okay, I'm not just a sugarcoat shit for y'all. Okay, the fucking truth is a lot of that cowboys and stuff came from a lot of the natives, a lot of the natives from the south, a lot of the Indians. Okay, you know, like cowboy stuff, they came from black men. Okay. And he was very, very popular, very powerful man. He got kidnapped. I think some a, a tribe of natives. Um, uh, I forgot what tribe it was, but they kidnapped his ass or whatever. And they, he got he was wounded in there, but they eventually healed him. Okay, and he escaped. He escaped from it, and I forgot the rest of the story. But he had a lot of victory. He was very powerful when it came to rodeo and cowboy, the whole thing. Okay. Um, I gotta get the rest of the story on him though. I be trying to remember all these stories, but there's a lot of new beginnings coming for you guys. And you guys are gonna understand the reason. Some of this is going on with with my Gemini's. It's for you guys to step into your power here, focus on your money here. Okay, some of you guys are healers. I get this card a lot. 
Some of you guys are healers out here. Pace yourself. A lot of times, um, I get this card a lot when it comes to my uh, reading also. Sometimes people don't understand how much work goes into spirituality, especially working with the left and the right hand, working with dark and light. Okay, sometimes people don't really get it. They think that, you know, one push of a button fixes everything. It's like, no. Okay, some people don't know that. And I have to tell my client, I don't have to tell my clients this a lot. A lot of you guys be getting it. You very, be, I have a lot of, I've been blessed with a lot of great clients and everything. But I have a few that, I had a few that just doesn't get it. Think that, you know, I can go back to back and back and do the light and dark all at the same time. Like, I can't, I have to rest. I had to rejuvenate myself. I had to take because I'm no good doing dark work or doing any type of work healing and I'm exhausted. Okay. That just, it doesn't work like that. And I refuse to give my clients less of me. Okay. This is not something that um, just can be done overnight. And this is not something that, I, you know, um, I just picked up overnight. Okay. A lot of energy goes into that. And this card represents that sometimes people don't see all the work that goes into what you have done or what you have been through, okay? Especially when with my spirit, a lot of people who deal um, with alchemy, who do voodoo, Haitian, whatever magic you get off into, because I do it all, okay? I get off into an awe from all cultures, okay? But people don't see the studying and the, the energy. It's like I live and breathe this. I live and breathe this, and I have to in order for me to have the passion that I have. Okay, this is not something that you just be like, oh, you know, I'm supposed to wake up and I'm supposed to be doing this shit. No, this, it doesn't work like that, you guys. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of energy. And that's just kind of sometimes people didn't, don't see all the work that you guys had to put in. Okay, but do you guys, some of you guys have a rose colored glasses on. You don't see. Okay, you don't see the destruction around you. You don't see the shit that's really going on around you. Some of you guys have blinders on. Okay. Some of you guys are looking at things from a rose colored glass lens. You don't see, look at the people fall. It's like a tower moment coming here. But you guys are holding up this, this glass to that's what you want to see. You want to see stuff is beautiful, but the building is fucking burning. Get the fuck on. It's, it's, it's time. Like it's done. Stand up for yourself. Move on. Let's move. You need to get revenge. You need to get revenge. Some people deserve it. Some people will fuck with you and fuck with you. There is people coming at you. Some of you people, some of you guys know these energies. Okay? Some of you know, know these energies. You got to get somebody out your life who don't want to leave, who is taunting you, who is torturing you. It is time for you to do something. Okay? Sure. I don't know who that's for, but mm -mm. it's time for you guys to water your seeds here. You see this beautiful black woman here? She is watering her garden here because she's about to reap the benefits of her harvest here. Some of you guys are going to find out what's really going on around you. Some of you guys are. Some of you guys have been going to readers and they've been telling you some shit like, okay? Some of you guys are very going to be, pay attention to your dreams. It's a lot of dream energy coming in here. Okay, pay attention to your dreams, okay? But you guys are going to be a very successful, like I said, some of you guys are healers out here or needing to be getting off into that energy here, okay? But some of you guys are going to be very, very successful in your business, whatever it is here. You guys need to do it. Some of you guys are um, astrologists or very, very good at astrologists. And that's crazy. I have a few of my Gemini uh, clients of mine who are very, very good at astrology okay and very good at astrology it'd be amazing me they'd be teaching me shit i'd be like what girl for real <laughs> you know beautiful energies i love my clients i love all of you guys i love all of you guys okay but let's get into let's get into your next energy here look at this very successful look some of you guys need to stop thinking stop being consumed with this dark energy. Like you, it, Gemini's feel this shit. If you feel it, reach out for some help, you guys. Okay? Reach out for some help. If you know you need to get some of this shit up off of you. Y'all need to get on your money. Y'all is going to be very, very successful. Okay? This woman working hard because she got the money. She got clientele. Stay on your shit. A lot of financial abundance coming in for you guys. 
a lot of financial abundance. Sometimes you lose a certain job or you lose certain things because the energy is trying to push you to do what you know you they want you to be doing. And you wonder like, man, why did I lose? Because they want you to focus on something else. They want you to focus on your life path. Okay? Yeah, a lot of energy you guys are still holding on to here. Still holding on to, but there's snakes around you. And I, I can't stress this enough. Whatever entrepreneurship you guys are trying to do or want to do, take the necessary steps to do it and don't stop. That is your life path. Okay? That's coming in very strong. But there is devils trying to stop you guys. Okay? You guys got the world at your hand. Put down the toxic shit. Once again, this goes for what you guys not listening to people. Thinking you know everything. Gemini's. I don't know who this for. I ain't talking about all of you. So if it ain't resonate, then shut up. Don't come in my comments. I'm say, hey, you ain't talking to me because I listen. Okay? Some of you Gemini's ain't listening. Y'all know I love you guys. I do. I love my Gemini's. But you guys ain't listening here. Put down some toxic things here. Okay? Whether it's eating unhealthy, smoking more, drinking more. And I know y'all are under stress. I know you guys are. Uh, but you can't do that shit every day. It's messing with you guys here. Sure, I, let me stop. Because in, in, in May, this month, it's look, it's my birthday month. I can do what I want to do. I've been having my margaritas. Okay, I've been celebrating. I've been eating good, y'all. I haven't even been exercising. But I'm going to get on it. I'm going to get on it, okay? I feel all guilty. Like, I can't just take two weeks and just do me. <laughs> but, but you guys... Y'all got so much finances coming in. Y'all got so much blessings that's going to be bestowed upon you for following your path. Something, things that you guys don't even realize here. And I'm proud of you, Gemini's. I keep hearing fire energy. There's a Sagittarius, Leo. There's something going on with that. A lot of wisdom, though, you guys, are, is coming to you guys. A lot of intuition. You guys get some rest. Don't dive into any relationship. We're going to get more into that in the month of um, the mid month of May here for your love read. Gemini's. Okay. All right, Gemini's. That is your reading. I really hope that got you resonate with you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you guys would like a personal reading or any information on my protection services or any services I provide, guys, hit me up at evolvingwisdom5.com. Again, you guys, this is Evolving Wisdom. Yes, I'm here. And I'm still evolving.